Uh, welcome friends in our SSIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to extracting the file name from the file string path. So in this way, we are going to focus on two diff two tasks. One is our for each loop container. Another is our skip task. And skip task will preside inside the for each loop container body. You can see we have the file path we have the file that is our file path uh, file directory path and I'm going to copy this now you can see what I'm going to do here I'm going to the edit for each loop container and here in the collection section I am going to choose file enumerator basically file enumerator is used to get the file name from a directory or subdirectory okay and this is our file directory path and we are uh, fetching all the files from that directory okay now click on ok button now i need two variables here one is file path and it should be string type Another is file name. It is also string type. Okay. Now close this. Now I am going to again in the added property of for each loop container in variable mapping. What I am going to say? I am going to set the path of the index file path. Now click on OK button. This is the thing we did for for each loop container. Now I am going to skip task and in edit uh, section I am going to rewrite variable section and choose both uh, uh, variables. Click on OK button. Now uh, in skip task editor, I am going to click on edit skip button. Now you can see a separate window, a separate project has been opened here. Now I am going to use a namespace using system.io. This is responsible to provide all the information from the file. So here I am going to create a string variable a string path. Okay, now we are going to read the values from the variables, and our first variable is file path, then value, then to string. Okay. Now here we are getting the full file path. We are going to create a variable file info object for the file info obj f file equal to new file info. We are we are going to buy the path. Now we have, we get the file uh, file object uh, file info now what we are going to do do here we are assigning the value in the variable like is file name if it is going to be in our program equal to obj file info dot name Okay, now we are going to show a message box dot so then obj file info dot name. Okay, now build the program, build this separate project, save this separate project, and close this separate project. Click on OK button. Now run the package now you can see that is our first file second file third file so it is very easy to get a file name from the file path with the help of for each loop container and script